Okay, this is uh, the first video of our uh, journey, recording our journey to embryo adoption. Yeah, so embryo adoption wasn't on our radar. We really didn't even know what it was, just a little bit. Um, originally started uh, the adoption process to, to look for a child with special needs, a uh, child with Down syndrome. We had gone through the home study and all that stuff and we were just kind of waiting, um, waiting to find the child. The NDSAN, National Down Syndrome Adoption Network, they came up with this potential uh, situation with uh, an embryo that had been genetically tested and it, it's a boy with Down Syndrome. That's what began us on this journey to embryo adoption. That, that child, that little embryo, it has made the image of God and it's valuable just like anybody else. So they're, uh, they need a family, they need someone to bring them into the world. So we're on our way home from Knoxville, Tennessee, where we met with the NEDC, the National Embryo Donation Center looks like they're gonna let us implant both of the embryos, the sibling embryos. Apparently, um, embryos with Down syndrome have a much, much, much lower um, rate of success, but they will probably go ahead and do both because it will increase the likelihood. And we are on our way to Knoxville, Tennessee. Tomorrow is transfer day. We have a lot of people praying for us, and we're very grateful for all the prayers that are going up for these little babies um, and for Gloria. And um, we believe God has brought us to this point. Uh, he's brought us here, so we're putting our faith in Him that He's going to see us through the rest of this. That's really all that we can do right now. We just, we basically have to trust God from this point on. It's all in his hands, so. We're here. Okay. So we're, uh, we're in Knoxville, Tennessee. We're at the NEDC in the parking lot. Today is transfer day. Yep, we know that regardless of the outcome. We were obedient and we have faith in whatever comes our way. God will see us through it, so he'll give us what we need when we need it. Uh, I think in our eyes, we've already adopted these children. They're already technically ours. We've adopted them. Uh, this transfer just kind of makes it feel official mm -hmm. or whatever. So they are loved and they have a family already. We'll so. be taking them home with us when we go home. Yep. Okay. We are finished. We're out in the car. Just got done with procedure so everything went well dr keenan was even um, very happy with the way everything went so now we wait yep we are considered pregnant until proven otherwise is what he said which is pretty cool our babies thawed out properly we get there we go two embryos this one right here is the trisomy 21. And the other one with the little shell around it, this dude blasted out of his shell. Both were uh, healthy, good looking embryos. And yeah, you see that little arrow, little white arrow right there. And that's Gloria's uterus and they were implanted right there. Okay, we'll uh, update again in nine to 12 days. So it's been more than a couple weeks, it's been a couple of months since we did our last update and that is because we were going to do an update after my first pregnancy test, but my pregnancy test was inconclusive, the one after that and the one after that. Um, they weren't the numbers they wanted to see, so we didn't really um, want to do an update yet because we didn't know how that was going to look. Um, eventually my numbers did continue to go up and they went up um, at the right pace.
uh, but everyone was still, the medical professionals were still skeptical and a little hesitant to give us uh, the all clear. We went for the ultrasound and they found uh, the baby, they found the sac, uh, gestational sac. So we went back the next week to chart the growth. The baby had not grown. And so a week after that, I had a miscarriage and the baby had stopped growing before seven weeks. Um, so the week of Christmas, I had a miscarriage. So it took us a while to do an update because it wasn't the update um, we anticipated. It wasn't even a clear update for a long time. We were on a little bit of a roller coaster of how things were progressing versus how they should progress. Um, and it shook us a little bit. We just went so far out of our comfort zone and we were so obedient and how we felt God was calling us that we just were so sure that um, how things were gonna turn out. So we just, as much as we tried to be prepared, we were not prepared, I don't think, for a, pregnancy, a positive pregnancy test and then a miscarriage. So the embryo adoption didn't go the way that we had hoped, but we still, uh, are trusting God with the process and believe that He's going to provide everything that we need in this. So we're going to continue on and uh, continue trusting Him.